What is up, my crazy divergent in this video? You can call me V, and welcome back to Jurassic World Alive. It's quite late. It's not that late, actually. It's only 20 past 11. Um, but I'm doing a video just so that we can talk about uh, what is coming up in the next week uh, in regards to events that you can partake in, unless they change them, and things that you can dart, and what you should be darting, because, well, there's a fair bit of option. A lot of them are easy choices, others maybe not so much, so it's down to personal preference, but I'll be going through what I'm going to be darting so that you guys can make an informed decision about why I'm probably wrong. <laughs> um, while we do that, we are going to drop down a few common sense, the reason being is we're going to see if any raptors or tarbosauruses pop up. If they do, we're going to dart them, if they don't, then we'll just leave it be and talk about the uh, week that's coming. So. First and foremost, we'll talk about the actual battle events, so... <laughs> oh, good lord. Monday, you have a grey incubator and a grey-blue incubator, as well as a grey-yellow incubator that's going to last uh, till Tuesday, whereas the other two's... Oh, ignore me, it's just a grey <laughs> and a grey-yellow. The grey-blue comes on Tuesday, but the grey-yellow lasts till Monday to Tuesday, and the grey is just there for Monday. But also on Monday, unless this is a technical glitch, you're going to get a scent pack. Always take part in those because you have a chance of getting a, a rare or an epic scent. You more than likely won't. You'll always get common, but you've got a chance. So play your RNG. You never know what might happen. You've also got a stat boost. Oh, no, that's a lie. You've got three. You have attack, speed, health. And you do have another one later on in the week, so we'll come back to that. But just... Take that into consideration. You have one, two, three, four, five, six different things, which means you're gonna have six different uh, venues pop up. Which means if anything spawns inside them, if they're small, like a Dilophosaurus that happened to me today in my sanctuary, you're screwed. <laughs> Was not happy about that. Um, but yeah, you've got loads of different choices to take part in. When I say choices, take part in all of them. It's gonna be really good stuff to win. Admittedly, the um, the sort of normal incubators are not going to give you a lot of stuff, but they'll give you some coins, some darts, and it saves you having to spin everything if you need to. Although you should to help your alliance out, trust me, but it, it, it's good to have. Um, the scent one, as I've already said, pretty good. Tuesday, you can get that grey blue that I got mixed up with. You're also going to get a normal blue, so a decent blue, a rare, that takes seven battles. So this week's a bit of a heavy battle intensive mm -hmm. thing, which can be... Oh, my jungle which can be quite quite demanding as such, but you've got to remember it's really freaking useful because if you've got a daily requirement of win or take part in 12 battles, these count, and they're a lot easier to do and a lot quicker to do. So if you do get them pop up, trust me, you'll be thanking for it. You'll be like, okay, this isn't too bad. I've now done seven battles. I only need to do five actually in the arena, which will take a bit of time and give you the stress of possibly going against people who are just cheesing it. Just just an example there. <laughs> then, of course, you have the treasure chase. Always take part in where you can. Just a bit of extra coin here and there. Absolutely freaking useful. Um, actually, no, I wanted to talk something else. I've done really well this week with a lot of cents. Um, managed to get, a, when I did a buck sale, got some bucks. Um, and got quite a few cents. So, I haven't got many left, admittedly. But I've got a bit of bucks left to get a few more rares if I need them. Um, but if we go to my team... Uh, Thralidosaurus is now level 22, awesome, it's going to be quite a bit more useful. Magnapirita is still level 21, it's going to be a while before I can get him up, but when we get a chance to find a zone 3, we'll give it a go. We've now got Dilaranosaurus to level 20, I just obviously need to get more Dilophosauruses, and I'll eventually slowly but surely be able to get a chance to actually get Dilaracyrus, which is awesome. And another interesting one, I managed to get Tijangosaurus to level 20 as well, and... I managed to get Twer and Morlock up from 44 to 164. So there's that. That's going to happen probably <laughs> this week. Depending if I, you know, want to use my rare sense that I don't. I'm going to use my rare sense um, in zone 2 and try and get a few Draco Rexes. Um, just because I've got enough ingredients for you to reach Cena Rex on the the um, Raptor side. But not enough uh, Draco Rex. So now I'm going to have a chance to get that. I'm also going to look to see if I can get any Elikosaurus. Um... Why are you? Another Majunga. Don't even make my phone vibrate if you're not good. <laughs> um, also going to get um, oh, what's it called? Uh, a Lekosaurus Gen 2. 
Um, Elegosaurus Gem 1, I'm going to be using Epic Sense at that zone too, so we can get a bit more, because I managed to get all of them of decent numbers for them. Um, two of them actually got above 200, so in one case I actually managed to do two pops at once, which was awesome. However, I'm about to show you how much this game truly cheeses it. I got six tens in a row over the last couple of, well in fact that's a lie, I got six tens today. I got 20 yesterday and I got six tens today, so I'm up to 240. I have a theory, and bear with me here, it might not be true, might not be accurate I should say, but it might be a possible thing to look into, maybe, who knows. Do not combine the ingredients for the unique that you're getting the chance at on the day you get the chance of it, because I'm almost certain that there's some sort of reduced chance and it sounds really bad to suggest it, I'm probably being very conspiracy theorist, but I wasn't the only one suffering from this. We had two or three other people mentioning it in the Alliance, and I was like, right, this doesn't this doesn't seem right, considering, um, you know, a couple of days ago I managed to get 40, 30, 10. And I know random generator, random number generator RNG, pure luck. But it doesn't feel right when you get six tens in a row. I, mm, I just don't get it. Two of which were popped straight after the other, where you usually don't see two tens in a row when it's unique. So, mm, yeah. But anyway, we're going to be... Yes, we'll use another one, please. Anything good? Nope. Just one of the named raptors. Um, so, yeah, you've got a decent chance if you just leave it to the next day and you just collect it all and just go all at once, which I might do in the future for videos anyway. It's a bit easier to. But, hey. Anyway, getting back to it. So, Tuesday looks good, but Wednesday... Wednesday looks interesting because you get another grey one. Meh. The blue one's still going on to Wednesday if you want it. We also get another speed boost. Amazing. Then we come on to Thursday. That gives another grey blue. Eh. But it's got three to win it, which is meh. Another scent battle. Awesome. Um, and of course, treasure chase again. And then, of course, we come to Friday. You get a grey blue. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay, I guess. I think it's a grey blue, is it a grey? Yeah, it's a grey blue, it's not just a grey grey. And then you get a epic, which I think, just a moment here, you're going to see me disappear off screen as I s tinily squint at the screen. Yeah, it looks like an Amargocephalus to me. So that'll be 200 free um, epic DNA for the Amargocephalus and then whatever else you're going to get. Could be anything, and that's great. Um, so that's the first one, and it's a master difficulty, so expect to be um, fighting with quite a few different people. <laughs> Um, problem level 30s, but it shouldn't be too difficult to be fair, especially if you're using stat boosts and you've got Thralidosaur. If you don't, then trust me, it's still not that difficult if you've got stat boosts. Um, then you come on to the weekends, Saturday, uh, grey blue, I want to say. You're going to get a grey gold, a blue, and another, um, it's a legendary before, epic. So another orange, gold one, whatever you want to call it. This one requires 10 different battles to so get a blue and you get an orange it requires 10 different battles in fact i i completely lied friday is when that that second battle one with um starts the second uh, epic one the second orange one whatever you want to call it orange gold who cares so friday you've actually got two of them but it leads into saturday sunday so i'll probably do it on saturday um depends what i do to be fair and you of course get a uh, coin chase on saturday too so, cool. You then come up to Sunday, and of course, the only thing you're going to get is a grey incubator, but obviously some of those already carry over to the Sunday. Don't worry, the image, which I'm actually referring to here, is available um, on the Jurassic World Live Facebook page and their Twitter. I think they put on the Twitter this week. Sometimes they don't. Um, but I'll also include it in the video at some point, so you can see it. Monday... For dinosaurs, to well, Monday to Wednesday is the commons. You're going to get 36 pops. You have Dilophosaurus Gen 2, Monolophosaurus Gen 2, Diplocalus, and Tangacologorus, or Tango, easier to say. So Dilophosaurus Gen 2 is good if you're going for the Tenontosaurus Rex. If you've got uh, enough Tyrannosaurus Rex Gen 2 and you have got enough Tenontosaurus, definitely, definitely go for this guy. It'll be good to bulk out your team. Um, on the flip side, it's not really useful if you don't have the other ingredients. I don't currently. Tyrannosaurus is a pain to find. So I will not be darting it because I've still got loads of it. 
<laughs> so I don't need it. Monolithosaurus Gen 2, not really useful unless you're going for the Monomelectrodon, which I think is probably going to have a unique in the future. But at this point in time, it's not overly useful. Um, unless you are low level and it's your first legendary because it's a quite an easy to obtain legendary in which case definitely go for it I, I won't fault you for doing it then we have um, Diplocalus this isn't the Diplocalus gen 2 so it's got a hybrid Diplotator which isn't great but it's not bad I mean it is bad as you go up levels but if you're low level once again not a bad shout finally Tango or Tango Caligurus pretty I shouldn't be putting this on the desk because this is going to keep vibrating. You're going to hear the vibrations, <laughs> which is going to come out weird after I edit all the audio to amplify my voice because I'm being quite quiet. Fun times. Um, but yeah, this guy is super useful. It's needed for the Quetzalcorium. Um, I just had loads of DNA from him. Then I got him to level 20 and I only had 3,000 left. So I'm definitely be dying every single one of these guys that I do see. Very useful. You want to get as many as you can because it's 2,000 a pop for the Quetzalcorium. Quetzatorian, Quetz, that's something. It's, in fact, I can find out. I've got it at level 20, haven't I, yet? So, what is your hybrid called? Quetzorian. Okay, just Quetzorian. That works. So you need to have um, a lot. And, you know, ideally, you're going to need at least 20 to 30,000 of them. So this is going to be a big help towards that. And I think it pops up on one of the days as well. I can't remember which day, but die when it does pop up, of course. Then we come on to the rares, which are Wednesday to Friday. And yes, we'll drop another scent, why not? <gasps> Speaking of rares, we'll be back on that conversation after I finish darting this guy. Um, but the rares are going to be a very, very split choice amongst everyone. I'll tell you which one I'm going to go for. You may not agree with me, and I can see why, trust me. <laughs> but I'm going for it for the... Um, well, what are the uniques that I'm currently aiming for? And I'm just missing a few ingredients, if you will. But plenty of um, Aranosaurus, plenty of um, Dinochirus, but I do not have many Dilophosaurus. So this one sucked, my god. I'm gonna get 250 with Dijangasaurus quite easily, but I'll blame that on the talking at the same time. So, yeah, so for the rares, Wednesday to Friday, you're gonna get Dilophosaurus, Dil Diplocalus, a Gen 2, and Prosaurotosaurus. So, a, Dilophosaurus, very much needed for Dilophosaurus, a Tyrant ranked unique, freaking awesome at what it does as well, I'm going for that. You then have Diplocalus Gen 2, used for the Diplovenator, I can't remember his exact name, but it's something like that, a very, very good legendary, um, I've seen it on teams, um, I've seen it on, I think Beaver's still got it on his team, let's find out, shall we? Do you still have it on your team, buddy? He does, and it's only level 22, but you can tell it's it's got a use for it to be on his team, and I, I've seen it, and it's pretty damn good, so would not blame you if you went for Diplo Kalos Gen 2 as opposed to Dilophosaurus, especially if you've already got Dilorakyrus, um, and you're not really feeling it, so I get that. Trust me, I feel ya. Um, and then Pro Ceratosaurus, really, really good as well, because I have loads of all of the Mimus DNA. But no Pro Ceratosaurus DNA, and I need Pro Ceratosaurus to make Pro Ceratomimus a very, like, it's one of the best epics you can use. One of. It's insane uh, how useful it is. It's still useful, it's still in my team, and won't be out of my team until I've got enough to have just Uniques and Dracoceratops. So, he's staying in there for a little bit longer, and plus I boosted him, so I want to get my m most out of that. But yeah, there are the three picks. I'm going to be going for 18, if not. 15, 16 of just Dilophosaurus. I can get 200 or so of each of them. If I get at least 15, that's 3,000. That'll be enough to create, oof, um, Dilophosaurus. Uh, they'll give me 15 attempts. <laughs> Which at a minimum is 150. Realistically, it'll be 250. Hopefully, it'll be higher than that. But that's kind of freaking useful. So we'll keep going for him. Um, then you come on to the epics. Now, the epics are actually the least buzzed ones for me this week, at least. Um, Kulasukas, it's got a use. I always forget what its use is, but we'll have a look. Mm, Kulasukas, where are you, my friend? I have not had much of you, so you're not going to be very high up. Oh, you're definitely higher than that, though. I must have gone, but there you are. Nope, wrong one. Wrong one. Do you actually have a use? Yeah, you do. Skulasaurus. So, I have got loads of these guys, but probably not enough to get to level 15. Schoolosaurus, only legendary. 
I will get it for the cla you know the clarity of having all the things unlocked, but for now, not overly fussed. Molophosaurus, very good for getting Monomimus, mono and that can then turn into another hybrid that I always forget the name of. Is it Terravexus? I will find out, because now I'm curious. Where are you, Monophosaurus? There you are. So, Monomimus, Terravexus, yeah. But it's also very good for getting Monostegatops and Indominus Killer, uh, and an Indoraptor Killer for that matter. I think it can hold its own against the Trico. Not too sure on that, I don't think it can. But it's it's pretty good. So a lot of people have that in their team as a legendary at level 30. So to give you clarity, that's, that's a really, really good legendary. So you could go for that. But the one that I'm going to be going for is the Tyranodon. The reason being is Tyranodon is, of course, an ingredient where you need to combine it. Terra, down, terra, terra, <laughs> Tyranodon and Quetzalcoatlus. Um, to get the, oh, what do you make? These names are escaping me today. Terraquetzal, well, that was easy. And then, of course, you use that combined with the um, Tango to get the Terra. I can't remember its name already. Wow, this is bad. <laughs> Quetzalian, there we go. But I don't have enough Quetzal, but I'm sure we'll get a chance to do that. I'm going to try and get to a park at some point and just drop some rare scents and hopefully get a Quetzalcoatlus. That would be pretty damn handy. Uh, but yeah, that's this week. If I had to rate this week, it's a strong 9 out of 10. If it's just under a 10 because I'd like a proper legendary or a unique, people always moan about that and it's like, Rrr. but it's part of the fun. It's very difficult to obtain. You'll only get like 20 to 30. It's not a problem. <laughs> I love darting uniques because it's like so stressful. <laughs> I, I really wish I did better on the, um, I, I wasn't really playing this game super a lot until the last couple of months, but in the St. Paddy's Day event, I, I just didn't do much, and I wish I did, because I'd be a lot, lot further along by now. Uh, but yeah, so this week is solid. Make sure you dart, you know, just your commons, um, Tango, personal preference, rares, Dilophosaurus, and then epics, you're going to want to pick Tyranodon personal preference of course once again if you want to go for school of Sucus or whatever it's called and i always forget go for cool of If you want to go for monomimus certainly do terra vexus or you want to go for monostegatops go for monolophosaurus if you want the new thing that looks like the croup from the tower warhammer 40k go for that thing because that's what i'm going for dilophosaurus deluxe dipocalanus gen 2 and prosaurus the ones that i'm the most confident will cause a bit of a split on what people will go for personally dilophosaurus anyway guys uh not really much has happened in this video we've only got a tishangasaurus which is pretty good but not enough so i'm going to keep dropping um common sense throughout the night whilst i'm editing my videos anyway and see if i get anything useful but guys if you have enjoyed today's video please make sure you do some hoosh on the like button if you haven't already make sure to subscribe and drop my crazy bit of i'd super duper appreciate it of course there is a Jurassic world live playlist you can check out to see how i got from point one to where i am now there is a big gap in between some of the episodes um, where I went off on a bit of a hiatus and just didn't play the game or didn't record the game for a bit, but back having a lot of fun. So let's go cause some carnage, shall we? <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching, have a nice day, and ta -ra.